That shot enabled the Bulls to start growing and believing that something special was on the horizon. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the most heart-stopping, most memorable, and amazing live sporting moments in history that went down in legend. His form was flawless, as smooth as the West Wind. Number 10, A Helping Hand. After being part of the gold medal winning 4x400 meter relay team at the 1991 World Championships, the pressure was on for Derek Redman at the 1992 Summer Olympics. However, he was struggling with injury issues. Near the last stretch of the 400 meter semifinal, the British runner's hamstring tore and he went down. Redman got back onto his feet and tried to hop the rest of the way, determined to finish. But he wasn't going to achieve this feat alone. His father, Jim Redman, arrived to let his son use him as a crutch to cross the finish line as the pain and disappointment enveloped the athlete. While the Olympics didn't register Redman's finish, this magical moment was immortalized in its history. Number 9. Winning for his mom When Douglas trotted into the ring, there was almost a sense of amusement. We thought he was going to his doom, but he didn't. In 1990, the undisputed heavyweight champion Mike Tyson was set to take on Buster Douglas at the Tokyo Dome in Japan. With Tyson's undefeated streak at 37-0, all the odds were against Douglas. But tragedy struck the underdog when his mother passed away only 23 days before the title bout, while his son's mother had a severe kidney ailment. Yet even with all this going on and with all the odds stacked against him, Douglas put on a performance of a lifetime as he dominated Tyson. Oh, the uppercut! What an uppercut by Douglas! Tyson. And down goes Tyson. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's, he, it's over. It's over. Mike Tyson has been knocked out. Unbelievable. By the 10th round, he knocked out Iron Mike with a series of head strikes, becoming the new undisputed champion. Why did you win this fight that nobody on the planet gave you? Mother. Mother. In what way? God bless her heart. Number 8. The Return to Greatness Will this be the day that, as recent as just two years ago, no one ever thought would happen again? Tiger win a major. When people talk about the greatest golfer ever, Tiger Woods is one of the first names mentioned. Yet in 2019, he was deemed a former shell of his former glory. It became evident that years of severe injuries and dealing with personal problems had worn him out. After all, Woods hadn't won a major championship since the 2008 US Open, but then the Masters was held. On the final day, Francesco Molinari was leading comfortably. It's the final round and Molinari is our leader. However, that lead soon began to slip. Woods needed to putt on the 18th green to achieve a two under par in the Masters title. As the world held its breath, Woods slotted away comfortably, and all those years of frustration exploded from him, enjoying his return to glory. Many doubted we'd ever see it, but here it is. The return to glory. Number seven, uniting a nation. They have stolen the crown. Unbelievable scenes all around the park. In 1995, South Africa hosted the Rugby World Cup. During that time, the country was barely out of apartheid. With the democratic election in 1994 voting Nelson Mandela as president, who watched as his nation battled overwhelming favorites New Zealand in the final. With the score tied, the match went into extra time. Led by Captain Francois Pinar and the kicking ability of Joel Stransky, South Africa won 15 12. But that's it! South Africa have won the World Cup! The image of Mandela wearing a rugby shirt and handing the trophy to Pinar will live in people's minds forever. There it is. Number 6, 28 3. Super Bowl 51 didn't break not one, but several records on its way to riding itself into American football lore. The Atlanta Falcons dominated the New England Patriots for the majority of the game. They were leading halfway through the third quarter, 28-3. Then Tom Brady stepped up his game and turned things around dramatically. Brady, end zone touchdown! Amendola! 
By the end of the fourth quarter, the Patriots had evened things up and the game would be decided in overtime. Sam Andola, flag is down, Amendola's in. The Falcons couldn't get any points on the board as the Patriots were a revitalized team, eventually achieving the biggest comeback in Super Bowl history after winning 34-28. Unbelievable. Toss to White. Number 5. Breaking the Curse of the Bambino In 1919, Babe Ruth was shipped to the New York Yankees by the Boston Red Sox. From that moment, fans believed in the curse of the Bambino, where the Sox struggled to win a championship for years to come. That gap, the almost incomprehensible divide between the fortunes of the two close rivals, has left those of us in Boston intensely bitter. And if you think about it, understandably envious. If you saw all those championship flags, you'd be jealous too. But in 2004, they faced their fiercest rival, the Yankees, in the American League Championship Series. Here's a 2-0. Miller flies to center. Bernie Williams is there, and the Yankees win it, a final of 19-8. The New York side dominated the series, but the tide turned in Game 4. Facing elimination, the Red Sox went on to win the next four games and won the series. Second, Reese, the Boston Red Sox have won the pennant. They then faced and subsequently beat the St. Louis Cardinals in the World Series, finally breaking the curse. Red Sox fans have longed to hear it. The Boston Red Sox are world champions. Number four, Red Devils rise from tragedy. In 1958, disaster struck English football's Manchester United. The plane carrying their side crashed during takeoff at the Munich Ream Airport in Munich, Germany. Eight players lost their lives and two suffered career-ending injuries, and numerous club officials, journalists, and flight staff also lost their lives. It was four days before the first moving pictures of the crash were shown at the cinema. The newsreel reports were shocking in their simplicity. Manager Matt Busby rebuilt with the support of the football world. By 1968, United was in the European Cup final against Benfica. With the score tied after regulation time, the Red Devils took over and ended up winning 4-1, becoming the first English side to win the trophy. Two goals were scored by United's captain Bobby Charlton, a survivor of the Munich air disaster. Number 3. The Shot not only is this one of the many defining moments that turn Michael Jordan into a legend, but it's arguably the most iconic in NBA history, period. In 1989, the Chicago Bulls faced the Cleveland Cavaliers in the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. In Game 5, with the series tied 2 all and with six seconds left, it looked like Jordan had won it. And Jordan puts up a jumper and hits with six seconds to go. Yet Larry Nance of the Cavaliers responded, giving Cleveland a 100-99 lead. With three seconds remaining, all seemed lost for the Bulls. But then the ball came to Jordan again near the foul line. With a jump shot, he sank the basket at the buzzer, giving the Bulls the win at 101-100 to and advancing into the next round of the playoffs. Go, puts it up, it's good! Remarkable. It was so dramatic, and it was typical what we'd see Michael do the rest of his career. Number 2. Sticking it to the man. In 1936, Adolf Hitler, who had taken charge of Germany with his fascist regime, wanted to showcase his warped ideology of Aryan racial supremacy to the world. These weren't the Berlin Olympics. These were the Nazi Olympics. When Germany hosted the Olympic Games that year, his government attempted to ban non-white athletes from competing. Fortunately, the threat of a boycott reversed that. And in the end, although Germany did lead the medal table, not everything went their way. Jesse Owens, an African-American athlete, won four gold medals at the event. In the long jump, the 4x100-meter relay, the 200-meter, and the 100-meter, even breaking records along the way. This single-handedly crushed Hitler's myth of Aryan supremacy. Owens also began a friendship with long jump silver medalist Germany's Luz Long, as the two walked arm in arm to celebrate their achievements. Recalling his feelings at the time, Owens later said, you can melt down all the medals and cups I have, and they wouldn't be a plating for the 24-carat friendship I felt for Lutz Long at that moment. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.
You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Miracle on Ice. It transcended the sport. It was a national win for the country. Couldn't have been alive and not feel wonderful about it. Coming into the 1980 Winter Olympics, the Soviet Union ice hockey team was the overwhelming favorite. After all, they hadn't lost in the tournament since 1968 and were expected to win their fifth gold medal in a row, while the host nation, the United States, was a team mostly of amateurs. Where the U.S. and the Soviet Union were involved, everything was connected into something more, whether it was the, the arms race, whether it was the space race, whether it was Olympic Games. When the two faced off in the final round of matches, tensions were high. After two periods, the Soviets were cruising comfortably with a 3-2 lead. But by the third period, the U.S. turned the tide by firing in two goals in quick succession, and then began the longest 10 minutes in sporting history as the clock ticked down. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! Yet, they did it. They went on to defeat Finland and secure the gold. I kept saying, I can't believe we beat the Russians. I can't believe we beat the Russians. And the celebration uh, was incredible. After that game, it, it made you want to hug your television set. I mean, it just made the country feel so much better about itself. Which of these sporting moments stands out to you? Let us know below. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.